So whether you've lost your job to the coronavirus crisis or you want to develop and pivot your business, here are 17 ideas that you can launch during these unprecedented times. So idea number one is a service to the elderly and to the disabled. I feel this is a part of a community that we don't talk enough about, um, especially in the business world, but there is a huge opportunity right there. I know there is a social aspect to it, but I feel why not give services such as handyman services or uh, grocery and drugs delivery at home, cleaning services or even conversational services. We know that this population is one of the most fragile and we need to take care of them. So if you have a heart to create a social enterprise, this is definitely one of the best ideas you can do. Idea number two is online live classes. Now I have a friend of mine who's looking for a guitar teacher. I'm myself looking for a painting teacher. Now hold on. It's not the same as an online class. What we really want, we want a live class, like a teacher teaching us directly, not just watch a video and then do the homework after watching the video. We want the teacher to be right there in front of us. We can ask him or her questions directly. And uh, yeah, so the only difference is that you don't have the teacher physically with you but you can do it live on the internet and I think more and more people would need these kind of services. Number three is beauty and wellness at home. So I have a friend of mine who is in the business uh, of beauty and wellness and she's been telling me that it's actually boomed during the coronavirus crisis. So more and more people are actually doing their facials at home, their manicure at home. So why not tap into that market of home beauty appliances and facilitate either you know the selling of those products or even the services maybe you can sell the products and then um, I don't know offer some sort of um, coaching program on how to use those appliances I don't know but I know there's a lot of money in that industry idea number four is digital marketing so as more businesses are realizing that they need to have a presence online they're gonna need some experts to help them with their digital marketing so if you are an expert and you can advise companies this is a golden opportunity number five is online events so we're seeing a lot of conferences being organized online at the moment so why not organize a concert or a conference or even a chess tournament find an idea that people are willing to pay for or even find sponsors who are willing to sponsor your online events number six is building a community and this is regardless of the coronavirus crisis i feel this is such a great idea to build and develop a community or even create a movement around an idea so why not start a Facebook group or start a YouTube channel where you would spread your message around and bring people together. That's the power of communities, bringing people together around that same shared interest. I agree, I mean, this is a long-term kind of plan, but it's really worth it. You will eventually be able to monetize your community if your community is super engaged. Number seven is homemade meals and uh, yeah people are tired of cooking I'm myself one of them and uh, eating out or takeaway it's not always the best option because we know it's not super healthy so I would love to actually buy uh, meals of a company that would actually make homemade meals delivered to our doors so homemade meals delivered to your door could actually be such an exciting thing and contribute to the happiness of many households number eight is related to kids so kids are at home they have free time after they've done their homework they need to be entertained and their parents are not always available to be there for them so how about like an online sort of like babysitting kind of service where you would occupy the child for x 
number of hours you could play with them for example um, chess or any other game or teach them a language or paint with them so uh, the parent would actually book you for a specific number of hours and then you would have to come up with the schedule of the day or the, the afternoon where you're occupying the child remotely number nine is social life for students I know students are craving social life. They can go to pubs, they can go to nightclubs, at least as of today, and they need that social life. How can you recreate that social life for them? Maybe you can recreate a nightclub kind of ambiance online. I don't know, but they need to be with one another, they need to talk to one another, and they, they need to feel that they're not alone in their bubble. Number 10 is a business that I'm actually passionate about and that is networking. So the idea is that we are social animals. We crave for connections and for relationships. There are no events happening, so all the networking is happening online. So how can you facilitate better business connections online? Whereas I know there are tools such as LinkedIn and other apps just like that, but is there any way you can actually make it happen in a way that is more human and more true and authentic? And also, we're looking for opportunities. How can you make it easier on us entrepreneurs to look for opportunities and offer our services? The 11th idea that I have for you guys is an artist management consultancy. And what I mean by that is that there are so many artists at the moment who are at home. They are not performing on stages, they are not uh, giving any concerts because pretty much everything is on hold for the moment. So these people, they're thinking of getting online, tapping to this new market. You could be the solution for them to help them set a personal brand online and actually manage them just like a superstar, manage their work, manage their brand, manage their image. So this is a very niche target where you can approach them and offer your services in a way that you can actually take them online, work on their personal brand, but also set up a store for them online and promote it for them. And obviously you would get a commission or whatever uh, works out for you, you would agree together on a sort of uh, agreement and deal but this is really the idea is to help this part of the population that is suffering at the moment and that is not making any income my next idea is the consultancy business whereas you're helping brick and mortar businesses to actually go online and this isn't just about the marketing part but it's about all the setup it can be overwhelming for a small shop in a small city to go online like they there's so much they need to learn and if they don't have that time to learn or the willingness to spend hours learning about e-commerce you could be the solution for them where you're actually helping them speed up the process and helping them set up a store, helping them build a brand online and helping them make that transition or at least run the two business side by side. Number three is about education. We're witnessing today that education is taking a new whole form. We're, you know, learning online. I'm myself teaching online. But what sorts of tools or softwares can you actually put in place or create that would facilitate this learning? And listen up, we're talking from kindergarten to university. This whole experience is changing. So what is it that you can offer to improve the environment of learning for both the teachers and the students and why not the parents as well? Number 14 is online payments. So we know there are so many businesses out there that um, make money, but the only system or way they accept money is either cash or checks. Yes, there are still so many businesses like that. So why not approach businesses that have not set up an electronic payment method 
and help them out set up an online payment. So for example, the last payment I made to my children's school, I actually had to send a check by post, which is ridiculous. Why not pay online by card? This is the new normal. And yet, we're talking like a developed country, yet they have not set it up. Number 15 is about sustainable slash tailored fashion. So I'm really hoping that this coronavirus crisis is helping people realize that a lot of stuff and a lot of purchases they're making are actually unnecessary. And this one industry where we buy a lot and frequently is the industry of fashion and that's because of fast fashion. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna change and I think people are changing in a way that uh, they are looking for more sustainable clothing, more um, respectful to the environment, better quality rather than just changing for the sake of changing. And I'm kind of seeing the rise of tailored kind of clothing. I've been approached by a couple of people who are offering that. So I think this is going to be like the new trend and I definitely support it because it's much more sustainable than fast fashion. Number 16 is the repair services. I think more and more people are going to have less disposable income to spend on appliances at home, etc. So why not set up a repairs services where you're giving a second life to the broken and damaged items living and sitting in people's houses. So this will be good not only for the environment, but also for their pockets. And I think they need it at the moment. And last but not least is the stock market. So yeah, you definitely need some education, but I know you're gonna tell me this isn't the right time to invest in stock markets. But there is a saying that says, when people don't buy stocks, that's when you know you should buy them. So invest in stocks if this is what you want. Get educated, definitely get educated. And probably this is the only business that you need right now to stay afloat. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed my list of business ideas that I'm suggesting to you guys to launch during this coronavirus crisis. If you're interested in knowing more about how to turn the crisis into an opportunity, make sure to watch this video that I did a few weeks back with some fellow entrepreneurs. Each one of them is giving you advice on how to use this challenging crisis and turn it into an opportunity. I enjoyed making this video with them and I hope that you watch it and leave me a comment there. All right guys, thank you so much again for watching. You can read the blog post of this video in the description box below. Make sure to like the video if you liked it and leave me a comment and I hope to see you very soon.